it's Tamika and I'm here with a design team project for the Cutting Cafe. I will put a link in the description box to all the files I am using today. Also, be sure to check out Cyber Mondays where Regina has awesome sales for the files that she has. You can cut these out on your machine or you can print these out and cut them by hand. So do take a moment and browse the website. You definitely won't be disappointed. Today's design team is surrounded around pinwheels and I figured I'd try to incorporate it with Mother's Day um, gifts for the crafter and the not so crafter. These things are easy to duplicate and um, should be a great addition to whatever you're giving. So I wanted to first start out with sharing that I am using uh, Crafter's Companion Rustic Cottage Paper Pad. It's a really, really pretty paper pad, signature collection by Sarah Davies, really pretty shabby chic paper. You can find this at Crafter's Companion. I will put a link below to where I purchased mine from. So I picked up two of these 6x6 paper pads and they are absolutely fabulous. So the first thing I created were these really cute uh, treat boxes. This is a file that I had already had and I thought it would look perfect with the pinwheels. So in my mind, I'm giving these to co-workers who are parents and it's not that I want to give them a big elaborate gift, but I wanted to just say, hey, I know that you're a great mom and I see that you're a great mom and I wanted to give you a little treat. So inside I have wrapped some caramels because I know that these two ladies in particular love caramels. So um, I thought that it would be a great idea to wrap it in this treat box. This paper is absolutely gorgeous. And look how fabulous that pinwheel looks on here. I sprayed it with some homemade shimmer mist. And then the printables are from the same file. Um, so you can print these out and everything will be done. Print out your pinwheel, cut it out. Print out your sentiment, cut it out make this box by hand. I mean, it's a really easy, quick project that you can do. I did finish it up with some splatters with some black chalk paint, and that really uh, concludes this pretty little treat box. It's great to give as a gift. Super, super cute. This one says, enjoy your day, and this one says, just for you. Easy to put these pinwheels together. I used a brad, put them together really quick, and then I added a pearl from um, Say It and Bling Pearls, and uh, or want to scrap bling and I just added that to finish that off so definitely can try doing that easy quick guys always something fun to do the second thing the second thing that you can do is make a cute little card a pinwheel card and it doesn't have to be Mother's Day related but this is also another card that you can give to your mom or a special someone that aunt but you can also give it to someone at work or your neighbor or school and I just simply um, have some stickers here it says love inspire hope and all I did was cut an A2 size card It's going in this direction and then I layered um, some pattern paper that same pattern paper on dimensional and added three pinwheels and to the center I added really tiny sequins um, that match this mauve color really really cute love how that turned out nothing it's blank on the inside you can put whatever you want it these pinwheels i made smaller with my machine um you don't have to obviously you can use them in the size that they come but i made these a little smaller so i'm able to put three on this card so i think that turned out absolutely cute so cards are another way that you can add pinwheels to your project last but not least i wanted to uh, play around with some gift tags Look how super cute these are. Really teeny tiny tags. Um, all I did was cut the pattern paper to size to fit my tags. I added splotches throughout because I wanted to keep with the theme. And look how tiny these pinwheels are and how cute they are. I added a sequence again to the middle here um, because I only had silver star brads that, that I could use. So I wanted to make sure I coordinate everything. So that's what I did. I cut this tag out matted it with a pattern paper and I added gold elements. Look at the tiny pinwheels here. This sentiment is from the same collection. It's your day so you can do birthday, Mother's Day, just for you. It's a blanket type of sentiment set. You can use it for anything. And I added gold stickles to the tips of these pinwheels. This one says the simple things. All I did was rumple it up and add some hot glue to the bottom so it's a dimensional tag. And I thought they were adorable. And then last but not least, one fun day. 
absolutely gorgeous. So I do hope you guys will try this pinwheel set from the Cutting Cafe. Be sure to check the links in the description box below for all the files that I used from the Cutting Cafe here and anything that I mentioned in the video, I will try to link it below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like this video if you like it and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.